if the lift is completed, but the referees have determined hitching or supporting the bar on the thighs to get the lift up to lockout. Finally, if the bar is dropped before or after the down command without the lifter's hands still on the bar, the lift will be considered a no lift. Powerlifting is a sport comprised of three lifts, the squat, bench press and the deadlift. Each lifter has three attempts at each lift and one minute to complete each attempt. Three referees each give a white light in case of a good lift and a red light in case of a no lift. The athletes are separated by their weight class, age category and gender. The biggest total in a respective category will win. The first movement of the competition is the squat. Once the athlete unracks the bar, stands upright with the knees locked and the bar firmly placed on their back, the head referee gives a squat command. The lifter then bends their knees and lowers their body until the hip joint is lower than the top surface of the knees. The lifter then comes back up, locking the hips and knees in order to complete the lift. The head referee will then give the rack command and the athlete must then place the bar back on the squat rack. There are three main technical mistakes that would give an athlete a no lift. Firstly, if the athlete is not standing erect with the knees and hips locked at the beginning and at the end of the lift. Secondly, the lifter will get a no lift if the proper competition depth is not reached at the bottom of the movement. That is, if the hip joint is higher than the top of the knee joint. Third, if the athlete does not complete the lift in one swift upward movement, meaning if the bar goes up and down before finishing the lift, this will also be considered a no lift. The bench press is a second movement performed in a powerlifting competition. Whilst lying down on the bench, an athlete creates the following points of contact with the bench, the head, the shoulders and the glutes. An arch is authorised which allows for a stronger position for many, as long as those points of contact with the bench continue to be met. The lifter can grip the bar at any width as long as it does not exceed the maximum width, which is index finger on the rings of the bar. Once the lifter has established their position on the bench... Good morning guys, we're here um, for the morning, first morning session at Gym Shop Up yep. first you've got Katie, under 69 women, kicking off the opening soft squad. The hunt. One eight seven hundred point five on the bar here. Lovely easy open there. Casey. Just as open as should be. Really. That was lovely. Yeah. So the lifters won't really get their start commands unless their knees are fully locked. Yeah, looking upright enough for the judges to get that start command. Yeah, you do often find with um, competitions that people will, um, will really try and hit their legs back. Come next, Emma. 107.5 kilos again. Very close stance. Another solid opener. Great control. Look, looks so easy. Three white. Oh no, no. Two to one. Two to one. Got T. Clark next with one ten. Now for T. Like the other two, should be nice and easy. So, a little bit short on the depth. Just from the side rest there. Just means that the hip crease wasn't below the top of the knee for those who side rest. That's, that's where those lines come from. For any of our lifters, any of our watchers today, you might not understand the rules quite well. Charlotte next. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lovely. Yeah, it's only fair sight now. So we've got Lauren coming up now for 115 for her over. Again, quite a narrow stance actually on the grip there. Should be, should be lovely lift that. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Three whites. Lovely opener from Lauren. for Molly Winter. A lot of A7. <laughs> Indeed. A lot of their new singlets out on, on the platform at the moment. Nice steady walk out. You can see her waiting for that start command. Comfy rep. Three whites. Lovely. Up next, one seventeen. Did he walk out there? Ooh. So she has a little bit of a back step there, so that's going to be three reds. I don't think that's a strength issue. I think yeah, it's just a little wobble. A little bit of a balance issue, maybe. It's, it's more than normal for nerves to be high first comp, especially those opening squats. I know for them, kind of myself, that can be very nerve wracking. Yeah, to be fair, I think for a junior competition, for your first national to be at Gymshark <laughs> Lifting Club, it's a, I, can manage, uh, I can imagine for the younger lifters today for it to be quite a nerve-wracking experience. I'm not sure what she said to the platform crew just now, but for Estelle, 120 kilos on the bar. Yeah, again, another really narrow grip stance. Our female lifters do just seem to have that amazing shoulder mobility. Nice solid depth. Good control. Three whites. Yeah. Lovely. We've got Anna Foster here waiting for the, the bar is loaded. <laughs> As she steps out for her opener. Got one, two, two, five on the bar. Speedy. Very speedy. Lovely right there. Yeah, three whites. Lovely stuff. Yeah, very, 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 very convincing opener. Up next, NTU zone. Holly Gord. 125 kilos. Let's see it, Holly. Easy 
We've got a lot of A7 singlets and SPD belt combos today, haven't we already? Stylish. Speedy yeah. repping high there. Yeah, again, another very speedy opener. I think she's got the lift there. Natalie wicked up now, 127.5 kilos on the bar. We're looking open. Three whites. So we've got Charlie Rollins here with 130 on the bar for her opener. the fastest squat yet that was yeah. <laughs> very very convincing three whites yeah depth was blatantly there i think sometimes with powerlifters you get get the squats that you can see where only the refs really know whether it's depth or not but if you can yeah. see from a camera angle that she's hit it it's it's convincing yeah starting the second round of squats now t coming out to retake her opener T did miss her opener just on depth, so. All she's got to do is sink it, really. Easy way for her. Let's yeah, take her time. Yeah, the depth looks much more convincing now. And she could. Still two, two to one, one, but nonetheless, good lift. <laughs> Open out to Katie. One fifteen. Seven and a half kilo jump from her opener. Wobble there. Nonetheless, still really easy. Yeah, Three white lights. Light. Pretty convincing second. Still a lot of room there. Definitely keep pushing for a third. Same way again now for Emma. 115. Can I put up a little bit here? Nice and controlled. Three white lights. Alay now on her first. Just a bit of a wobble. Just step back. Definitely not a strength issue. Just like we said earlier, this can be a very nerving event if it's your first time. 
I think we've all had a squat here or there where we've yeah. failed it on a balance issue. It's nice and slow now. Just yeah, very steady walkout as well. So. Looked just like an open. Yeah, so now we know what was yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, two to one. Yeah, can't put that out to Strad. That was absolutely lovely. That is often an issue that lifters with wider squat stances do face, where balance kind of coming out of the hole seems to be a bit of an issue. But one twenty now for Charlotte. Just little push bit of a fight there, but yeah, three white lines. 120 kilos on the bar now for Molly. Just taking a second, flex yourself. Again, such a deep squat. Just a little Just bit of a fight, but solid. Still nothing, yeah. nothing too difficult. Lovely squat there. Three white lights. It's got a seven and a half kilo jump here for Lauren, up to 122.5. Lovely stuff there from Lauren. Got Estelle coming out for another lifter taking a seven and a half kilo jump. She is going for one two seven point five. I've actually just realised her singlet's got her name on it. <laughs> nice steady walk out. Just really grounding herself. It wasn't the easiest, but nonetheless, still a very valiant effort. Yeah, tipped over a tiny bit there when she was grinding, so. Yeah, again, another lifter taking 7.5 kilo jumps. This is with a, a common game plan of today. Yeah, quite popular under in the under 69s. She's taking 130 kilos. Lovely speedy. speedy, speedy second attempt. Probably the same speed as the first, two to one. Yeah. Someone's having a good day. Yeah, would it definitely expect her to take another seven and a half kilo jump at least for her, for her third attempt. Absolutely, definitely looks like it's there. It's just minimal effort. 130 now for Holly.
Nice steady walk out. Go on, Holly. Very speedy. See what the ref say. Ooh. Two to one there on depth. So Does he sink a little bit further. Refs really holding the standard today. Really on it with the depth. Strength was there though, so it depends whether she'll take it again for a third or. It's got Natalie now. Five kilo jump now. Seven and a half to gone now. <laughs> Breaking your trend. 132 for Natalie. She's got the Gym Shark singlet on. Just taking the time. Lifters do have a full full minute to uh, complete their lifts. A little bit of a wobble there, but nonetheless, still very comfortable second attempt. Rash give it the all clear. Lovely lift. Yeah, no, something convincing depth. Yeah, I like the, like they've said, tiny bit of sticking point, but. 140 kilos now for Charlie. Seem like, seem just Holy like a opener. Yeah, speedy. Such an easy squat. Three white lights there. Feeling confident going to thirds. <laughs> Starting the third attempts now. T with some issues on her, her opener, but I can't see this being an issue the way that second moved. The way the moves. second moved, yeah. It was All she had to do was sink a little bit more. See if she can do it again now, because that second, such an easy squat. These third attempts, you'll probably start to hear a lot more from the crowd here. Um, thirds for squats, usually when the crowd starts to really pick up from those earlier sessions. No issues at all there. Exceptionally smooth for a third. Such a smooth third attempt. I think just with what happened on the first, it's just good choices there for team. Yeah. Should be proud of self. Lovely third attempt. So we've got Katie Irvine taking 120 next, as we can see on the score sheet currently. Pushes through. Lovely third attempt there. See what those refs say. Three whites. So three for three on squats day for Katie. Lovely work. Charlotte taking a conservative jump here by two and a half kilos for 122.5 for her third attempt. Just not quite there. I think out of the hole, she just had a little bit of a... Just maybe tip forward a little bit. That's what the spotters are there for there. Catching, keeping our lifters safe. Emma up now, 122.5 kilos again. Seven and a half kilos. No 
lovely control now. Exceptionally controlled. Squeeze out the hole. Oh, one there on depth there. Side so. refs, yeah, just calling her on depth there. It's unlucky. Yeah, as you can see from that side angle, the hip crease is just above the knee. So we've got Alay taking a seven and a half kilo jump for one, two, five for her third. Again, she just had a, a, another wobble on her opener. But her second when it came so out, smooth. yeah, it came out so so strong for a second attempt. Push through. Lovely third attempt. Three whites. Seven point five kilos on the run off of Lauren. Lauren's hyping herself up a little bit here, getting locked in. Really confident walk out there. Drive through. And a lovely fight for a third attempt. <laughs> She's had very happy with that. Lovely squats from her. So we've got Estelle coming out for 127.5 again. Just missed on a second. See if she can get some redemption. They're really getting that bar into her ribs out there. Super smooth. Oh, wow. What a fight. Wow. Just missed it on a second for strength. Two to Two one. To one. <laughs> That's a great lift from Estelle. Yeah, wow. What a, what a fight that lift what a was. Fight. Control all the way down. And absolute grind on the way up, but nonetheless, what a squat. You can see on her face how <laughs> I think she the was sheer just emotions of having to fight for a third attempt. <laughs> At least she was surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Molly up now, 127.5. Really hyping herself up here. Powerlifters do love a little thigh slap. <laughs> Second last chance. Yeah. Thought she's gonna have it then, but unlucky. Nonetheless, a great round of squats from Molly. So I've got Holly retaking 130 now. She missed it on her second, uh, just slightly on depth. Shouldn't really be an issue. Come on, now, Holly.
quick into the hole there. But definitely very convincing on depth. See what the judges yep. say. Three whites. Lovely squat from Holly. <laughs> Little celebration there Speedy afterwards. Speedy of squat. So we've got Anna Foster here coming out for one three five for her third attempt. Her first two squats have absolutely flown. Flown, yeah. I don't think this is going to be any bother e either. I think it's going to be such an easy third attempt. Speed on that for Such a, a speedy third attempt. Three Lovely for Anna. Three whites. Three for three kind of day. Morning's off to a good start for Anna. Hundred and thirty five kilos now for Natalie. Two point five kilo jump. Just securing all the kilos that she can for that total. Just there. It's a little too heavy today. Finish off the first flight of squats. Got Charlie Rawlings going for a one at four five. Heavy squat at the fly now. And she fights. Drives through, locks it out. Attempt. Three white lights. Very strong morning from Charlie so far. Bit of a fight, but still a lovely third attempt from Charlie here. Near enough perfect attempt selection there. Got the second flight of squats now. So this flight does contain lifters from the under 69 weight category and the under 84. Of now Zara, 105 kilos on the bar. Lovely controlled squat. Speedy as well. No mither at all. Three white lights. Lovely way to kick off the second round. You'll often see lifters after their first squat have a little bit of relief on their face to get a number on the board. Calm those nerves, getting just out of the way. Just got Molly waiting here just to get the bar is loaded. Just opening with one at 20 on the bar. Really speedy setup here.
lovely first attempt. Perfect opener. So we got Abby in one of the gym shark singlets. Please restock them. She's coming out for one, two, five. Very, very easy opener there. Yeah, another another lovely first attempt. That was, yeah, perfect first attempt. Just some, some last second... Uh, Back room chalking it on there. Lovely speedy first attempt. Ooh. Does get called for depth though. Yeah, from all three there. So so that squat was yeah. too high, I'm afraid. Up next now is Gemma. She's got one, two, seven on the bar. Really attacking the bar here for her setup. Nice setup. Okay. Ooh, just a little wobble there. Two to one, Two to one still nine. a good lift. I think we'll just put that down to, down to Nurse now. I think it's come, going to come out much more collected on the second. Yeah, definitely. Other than the little pause, it moved. Yeah, speedy as anything. Fast. So, got Phoebe now taking 130 for her opener. She's rocking the A7 Luno. Is it the Luno? I could tell you, to be honest. Yeah, 130 for Phoebe. Well, Lovely that's and the easiest of the easiest score of the day. Wow, three whites. Three five on the bar now for Lucy Cork. Another one of the lifters in the Gym Shark singlets. Lovely easy opener there from Lucy. Erica up now, 137.5 kilos. She is one of our first under 84 lifters of the day to come out. Lovely unrack and walk out there. Exceptionally deep there. I think it just got quicker. 
Lovely first opener there. Kira now, 137.5 kilos. Tiny bit of a sticking point there, but still three white lights. Nice open up. Same way again now for Lucy. 137.5 kilos on the bar. Like an easy squat. Lovely and controlled. It's two to one. Nonetheless, still a good lift. So we've got Abigail Marshall now waiting to take 140. <laughs> Wow. Speedy wow. opener there. Gets three white lights yeah. as well, so that's a great lift. It was a lovely first attempt. I would expect her to take quite a quite a jump for a second, given yeah, the speed that of that. That was yeah. what lovely, lovely opener. Lightning there. fast. So we've got Grace now taking one, two, no, not one, two, <laughs> four, two, point five. Point five yeah. Get a feeling by the end of the day, I'm not going to be reading numbers properly. She knows it's controlled. Just gets the start command. A little bit of a fight, but still looked really comfortable. Not all lifters are as explosive as each other. It's just kind that of has a bit of a lot can be said for that. Some lifters do spring in and out of the hole quite quickly, but then the moment they have to fight, they can't. But yeah. then the more controlled lifters can fight through those sticking points a lot easier. It's got Kerry Wood now coming out for 152.5. Nice steady walk out. Just waits for start command. Absolutely no issue for Kerry there. As speedy as anything. That was an absolutely lovely opener. Rounding off the, I think that rounds off openers now. Getting into second, attempt. second round of squats and that wasn't a bad, bad, bad first set of squats just now. Yeah, that was pretty, um, pretty speedy. I think most the Lizzie and Lucy only I think failed on depth, was it? Yes, yes, yes. So we've got Zara taking a 10 kilo jump. Her opener was lightning fast, so I can't say I expected any different. One fifteen now. I believe that is 
the Cambridge Uni singlet and comfy combo there. And the collab with A7. Got the start command. Lovely control negative. Bit harder than our opener, but nothing, nothing drastic. He just took a while to get that start command there. Yeah, three white lights. I think the so knees just weren't quite as locked as he wanted, but great second attempt squat. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, you often find lifters waiting for the squat command and they're going, ah, oh, let me make sure that my knees are extended and hips are locked. We've all been there. So we've got Lizzie now retaking one, two, five again. Her opener was a little bit just above depth. It absolutely flew. It was speedy as anything. But I think just just needs to sink a little bit deeper. No no time off the unrack. Yes, yeah, speedy as anything again. Let's see that what they was say. Deeper that time, so. Yeah, three white lights. lights. Yeah. But he's <laughs> got some weight on that bar. Yeah, that was the unrack. Molly now, 127.5 kilo. Really hyping herself up here. It's on those second and third attempts that I think the lifters realise that they can really start to just focus on get being as strong as possible. Tiny bit of a fight, but nothing, nothing difficult at all. Yeah. Lovely second attempt from Molly. Much better second attempt there for Gemma. I think the first was nothing but nerves. That looked so much more comfortable. Lovely second attempt. Yeah, she had that same kind of sticking point, but. Same way again now for Abby. A little bit of a fight there, but. I think she's just missed the rack command. So, lifters, to complete the squat, have to wait to get the re rack command from that center ref. And often, after quite a fight of a squat, your first instinct is get back into the rack ASAP. Yeah, when you've got that weight on your back, you just, you just want to take it off sometimes. But still got another lift to make up for it. Phoebe now, 137.5 kilos on the bar. All these lifters today having matching matching sets. It makes me makes me want to splash out on this May Seven gear. Yes. Solid squat there from Phoebe. Very well, let's get the cheer from the crowd. A little bit slower than her first, but. Got Lucy here retaking 137.5. I think it was depth issues on the opener. Yeah, I believe so. Yes, yes, yes. See what the ref say. Two to one, it's a good lift. Yeah. Lovely second. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lucy. Ah, the ball. 
Lucy now, 142. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Three wise, so many more kilos in the tank. Got Erica taking one four two point five. One forty two for Erica. Such a deep squatter. Yeah, just some people sometimes it's just the quicker way to do it. Yeah, even though she is is squatting exceptionally deep, they are looking so quick. Yeah, plenty of kilos there for third. Same way again now for Kira. Only a five kilo jump, but game plan nonetheless. Bit of a fight, big smile on her face. She's very happy with that. Three white lights. Yeah, good lift. Absolutely. Another one of those lifters with a with the SBD Phantom collection. Gone but not forgotten. Hundred and fifty kilos on the bar now for Abby. Wow. Exceptionally speedy there. Yeah, absolutely no issues for Abby there. Would expect another maybe 160 for her third. Yeah, anything there. She's got Grace now taking 152.5. She fights, grinds through. Two to one. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, so that red just on depth from the left judge. So we've got Carrie taking a 10 kilo jump here for 162.5. Once again, biggest second squat of the flight. Really getting in the zone now. And a lovely second She's attempt. She's absolutely <laughs> smoked that. Just three white lights. Perfect second attempt from Carrie. Third, 
entering the third attempt for squats now. You might hear the crowd start to pick up a bit. Just might see some lifters start to get a bit more hype. Um, but the way these girls have been squatting today, it's been fantastic. I think this round's only going to be only be just as good. You can see Abigail Marshall has actually opted for a 10 kilo jump. Not surprised there. We've got Zara up now with 120 on the bar. 115 was a little bit of a grind, but I don't think this is going to cause any issues. Really getting set now. She's fighting. Oh, no way. No way. What a grind. Wow. <laughs> Long what the knees. a squat. Oh, she's just not got the right command. <laughs> Two to one. <laughs> what a squat. That is absolutely remarkable. Rightfully very emotional after that lift. I mean... Wow, absolutely wow. Here in the commentating booth, me, Lewis, just completely perplexed. That was an amazing squat there by Zara. 130 now for Lizzie. I don't think this is going to be, it's going to move like an open as well. You know, first so one depth speedy issues. With a walk out again. Lovely third attempt now. See what the refs say. Ooh, just the depth issues. Quite have to retake that second. <laughs> Wasn't a difficult squat. Three white lights. Good yeah, lift. A lovely squat there from Abby. It's got Gemma taking one three five here. So a conservative two point five kilo jump from her second. Which did seemingly move better than her first, so very much in the zone now, Gemma. unfortunate but great good great round so of demo, from yeah. Yeah. same way again now for Molly Fights. Fights through. Locks it out, gets the rack, and it's three wide lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing more satisfying than, uh, than grinding out a third attempt squat. Phoebe really hyping herself up here for 140. 
crowd really starting to get behind her now. Nice steady walk out. She fights. Grinds. Three whites. Yeah. Lovely third attempt. Yeah, this flight has had some great thirds so far. I think after that first squat, it's just really set the tone. First squat of the flight. Lucy now, 145. 135? 145. So Lucy did miss her first, but her second did move very nicely. Just needs to make sure she's hitting depth. She grinds it. Not too hard of a lift, but let's see what the refs say. Oh, unfortunately. So she's pulled there for depth by two judges and then missing the rack on the third as well. Hundred and forty seven now for Lucy. She had a great round of squats so far. Exceptionally strong squatter, especially as an under sixty nine. Perfectly controlled and not a, didn't even look that hard. Two to one. Great day for Lucy so, so far. Erica is taking 147.5 for her third. You can see her really mentally zoning in here. You often find with her third attempts, lifters like to take that, that time in that minute that they're allotted for their squats. third attempt from Erica. Such a deep squatter. It's almost <laughs> you don't even need to wait for the, the lights from the refs. She absolutely loved that. Celebrations afterwards. See how much it means to these athletes. One forty-seven now for Kira. When that bar starts to dip, it's so hard to come back from it. Unfortunately, James yeah, failed that strength there. But nonetheless, great round of squats from Kira. So for our viewers at home, if the bar does have any downward movement on squat, even if it is throughout a grind, uh, it does render it a no lift. So that is why sometimes you'll find lifters as soon as they do start to go down, they will just give up on the lift. See Grace coming out for 157.5 here. Wow. Oh, she, wow. Yeah, what a lift. Just pushed out the hole there and then just slowly. But surely locks it out. I think it's two to one, so 
It's a good lift. Great day from Grace as well. One sixty kilos for Abigail. Abigail taking that ten kilo jump. That one fifty was very convincing. Lovely third. I want to say she fights, but she didn't. That was an exceptionally <laughs> nice that bad. third. Yeah. Didn't look that hard at all. This flight has had some great squatters today. So Kerry here is rounding up the flight for her third attempt with 172.5. Getting so close to that three red comp milestone. I'm sure she's going to absolutely smoke this now. Crowds getting hyped. Platform crew telling them to shout. This is the, the last squat of this flight. See, she's really dialing in here. You can hear the crowd. Comfortable walkout. Such nice control in it. She finds. Oh, so close. Just a little tip there. Nonetheless, great day. Such so far strong from squats from Kerry. Absolutely. I believe we are kicking off flight C very shortly. Yasmin now. Coming out for 137.5. Really nice steady setup. Lovely first attempt yeah, there. Absolutely lovely. Isabel now, 140 kilos. Nice strong setup. Steady but speedy walkout as well. Nice first from the her. Yeah, absolutely lovely opener. Just <laughs> no bother for her whatsoever. <laughs> Ella now for 142. See another lifter here in the Gymshark singlets. Very popular amongst the junior lifters. Oh, that's another, lovely yeah, another opener. lovely first opener. Absolutely breezy.
Nafa Cairo. 142. Bit of a quicker setup this time. Getting this offset. Oh, wow. What a deep score wow. there. Absolutely shut out the hole there. Perfect opener. Yeah. Absolutely. So we've got Lois here waiting to come out for one four five. Seems like Lois has got a lot of support in the crowd today. It's a great milestone to have as an opener, isn't it? It's almost that like three G three plays. plates. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> She's absolutely <laughs> smoked it. <laughs> that was ridiculous. The speed on Big that. smile on her face finishing that. She's going to be confident today. So I've got Amelia here waiting to take the same. Nice and controlled first attempt there yeah. from Amelia. Lovely squat. And the rest agree, three whites. Absolutely undeniable. <laughs> Up now is Emily. Getting that little bit of extra chalk on her back before she comes out. I believe she just reps, I believe she podiumed at Euros, representing Great Britain. So, a very strong contender here today. Another one doing the behind the back SPD. Yeah, it's, it's just become a, quite a... Uh, I think it's just to stop the buckle from catching your legs on the way down. I know sometimes that can be quite painful. Um, 147 here. Experience lifter. So this is going to be... Expecting this to move yeah, pretty speedy, yeah. Expecting this to absolutely fly. Oh, absolutely lovely. That was so quick. Up next is Esther. 162.5. I believe we might be having a bit of a battle between her and Hannah today. Exceptionally strong squatter for an under 69. Oh, wow. Lovely first attempt Absolutely there Absolutely routine. It's two to one. So maybe one of the refs seeing a bit of a depth issue. But two to one. Absolutely. Absolutely lovely lift. And now just 2.5 kilos in front is Hannah. She's got the smelling salts out. Really trying to hype herself up here. Hundred and sixty five now for Hannah. It's really, really locking herself in.
Oh, and that was just effortless. Yeah, we, we have a very close battle of two very strong squatters here today. Cannot wait for the thirds today. Wow, yeah. It's gonna be gonna be unreal. Up next, Yasmin, 145. It's a little 7.5 kilo jump. A lovely second attempt there. Yeah, no bother again for Yaz. Moved just like her opener. Yaz is another one of our international athletes that has competed, has done quite a fair few number of competitions, so I'd expect her to be putting out some decent numbers today as well. So we've got Isabel here taking 147.5. Her opener was very nice. bit harder than an opener but still nothing nothing short of uh, difficult that was just a nice such a lift, smooth, yeah. smooth second attempt there so we've got Ella here taking 150 for her second Smooth. Yeah, lovely deep squat there as well. Times. Yeah, three whites from the refs. I believe this flight is two lifters shorter than the previous, so lifters have a little bit less time between their attempts, but I think about eight minutes is still more than enough time, so this flight will appear that it's moving quicker, and that, that is because it is. Um, 152 now for Cairo. Yeah, so 10 kilo jump there. The, the opener was ridiculous. So speedy. Yeah. And that was no different. So speedy and so deep. Yeah. Often you find no these lifters well. that go quite deep, they usually kind of struggle out of the hole, but Cairo makes light work of it. Three lifters doing 152 now. Lois Anderton. Just walk out there. Perfect. Speedy second. second. Absolutely. Two to one. So many of these lifters today just executing perfectly. So we've got Amelia now taking the same way. You can really hear the crowd.
again. Lovely second. Yeah, they're just, all these lifters are at the absolute top of their game today. That was a fantastic second attempt. So we've got one five five on the bar now for Emily. Two reds and a yellow. This 69 kilo flight is stacked. Yeah, we've got some absolute powerhouses here today. And I think this is going to move just the same as the opener. Yeah. Yep, not, not, not a bother. Used the full 60 seconds, nice and composed. Absolutely smoked the second attempt. Jody springs in and out of the hole. It's got Hannah Davis here taking 170. Just taking her time. Lifters do get a full minute, so. Here we are, she's just kind of really wound the clock down, but she, she might need to be careful there. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely that second looks, attempt there. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I have three white lights there. We have a very close battle between these two squads here. Yeah, Esther taking two kilos on. 2.5, shall I say. 10 kilo jump. Her first was so fast. I think we're going to have a real podium bat battle on our hands today. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think that does it justice. I think it's going to be a very tight fight today. Esther really locking herself in here. Just, yeah. Oh, so, issues on deck. So she gets called two to one here. So that's two reds to one white. That doesn't look like strength this, an issue though. It doesn't so. look like strength an issue at all. Shaking ahead. Yaz up next. 150 kilos on the bar. Third, yeah. Lovely, Lovely third. third attempt from Yaz today. Three for three kind of day. Absolutely fantastic squatting from Yaz. Yaz has been dealing with some quad issues, so I know she'll be exceptionally happy with that. Isabel Dowling now. 152.5. Big 
Fights, fights, fights. Wow. Yeah, what a grind that third was. Three whites. <laughs> that was a fantastic third attempt there from Isabel. Just absolutely fighting it, no matter what. It's got Ella here taking one five five. Slightly more conservative jump from her second to third, but it's usually what you'd expect. Just a little wobble there. Great catch by the spotters. But as we know, that that's that's what they're there for. Um, the unsung heroes of a comp day. Yeah, absolutely. Nonetheless, a great round of squats from Ella. Kyra up next. Three lifters taking the exact same weight. Her first and second were pretty speedy, so... I'm expecting this to look quite similar. Wow. That's, I don't think thirds are supposed, oh. She's she just missed the rack command. It's so easy when, you know, you've, you've made your third or you've grinded out a really hard squat and you just forget about it for a second. Yeah, and we have seen a few lifters do yeah, it today. And you just aim for the rack. It's just, ah. Oh. I think nine times out of ten for our junior lifters, it's just a nerves thing and a, it's something I think more seasoned lifters wouldn't even dream of. Lois now, same weight again. They was getting a lot of support in the crowd. And another speedy third. Oh, just a little high. Look, these girls are getting called for depth today. Amelia now, she's been having a very strong day. Super controlled squat. <laughs> she fights it out. That's just similar to her second. She just manages to really just fight out her position. Even if it gets That's harder, just, the, yeah. the positioning wow. is just immaculate. The quads stay very under her. Some lovely squats today. 160 kilos for Emily. The way 155 move, this this isn't going to be difficult. Yeah, I'm expecting her to almost ping in and out of the hole as she has done for her first and second.
Messes what? it just. Not sure what's happened there. I think maybe a balance issue. I think she's kind of shifted forward. Yeah, sometimes with lifters that do yeah. do ping in and out. Sometimes when they hit those sticking points. Wow. Back to back record attempts now. So Hannah and Esther. Esther putting in what might be a tactical attempt. Yeah. Just to kind of get that second attempt over oh, Hannah. Esther's second actually got overturned by that slip. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, yeah. So. Esther currently leading on weight. Hannah now to take the British record. Hannah's only been powerlifting for a year. So to take a junior British record within 12 months, within 12 months of training is something remarkable. Can really feel the crowd. Oh what the my speed on god. That. that wasn't even difficult. I think that was quicker than her second attempt. Mode 180. Yeah. <laughs> I believe she's done it in training. <laughs> Esther now though to take Will the record from Hannah. Oh. So to chip the record that was just taken, Esther with 176.5 kilos. I think the gym, the, the venue, sorry, is gonna get very loud for this now. I can tell she's really dialing in. That move. And another eat. <laughs> I don't think national records supposed to be taken that well. And Absolutely it's a good lift. Amazing day from oh, all of our spotters in wow. this flight. Wow. Just, that was an absolutely fantastic round of squats from our female lifters today. That was incredible. Some amazing squats there from Hannah and Esther. Back to back national records being broken yeah fantastic we're going to take a short 10 minute break and then we'll be back for flight a bench press Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility. These new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility. These new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the seven millimeter knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. So bench press has got to be one of the more kind of technical lifts, I guess, in powerlifting. There's just a lot more going on, a lot more rules that you kind of got to account for throughout the lifts. But with a bit of practice, it does just become second nature. Um, if we see any rest calls today, we will do our best to explain what's going on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So we can see here um, the lifter is, or LA, sorry, is speaking to the um, center platform uh, volunteer asking for a handout. Uh, this is one thing that you'll see quite a lot in the first flight, um, just while they get used to what the lifter in, what the lifter wants, um, as as only one is entitled to a handout from the spotters. Lovely opener. Yeah, actually lovely opener there. Nice and controlled, control on the chest. Usually, the more controlled the negative is, um, the, the quicker, quicker the, press command. the press command, because what those refs have to see is the bar stop. So if the bar's bouncing around all over the chest, it's gonna be a long press command, so. You won't see it today, obviously, yeah. in the female flights, but um, say in the 105s and 120s, you'll see a lot more lifters kind of sink the bar into their chest and therefore the press command is quite long. So we've got Stell taking 60. A little bit slow for an opener, but, but nonetheless a controlled lift. Yeah, nonetheless, sometimes people don't. Some people don't jump very high uh, on bench and just kind of take a couple two point five kilo jumps. But yeah, nonetheless, good yeah, opener. Yeah, in, in the lighter weight classes, you'll often see lifters who'll only take say two point five kilos on as jumps from kind of seconds to thirds. I believe Charlotte has changed her singlet. A 
Love wow. Controlled yeah, lift there. That was that was that was fast as anything. I think you might be right. Sometimes sometimes I know some people prefer to squat in certain singlets and bench in certain others. Um, purely down to lift, lifters' preference, as long as it's approved at kit check. That's that's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Natalie now, again, just explaining the handout that she likes. Um, 60 kilos on the bar, yeah, again. Lovely controlled and soft touch. Holly coming out now, 60 kilos. Our fourth lifter in the row starting with 60. I think 60 for, for most lifters is seen as that big one plate milestone. Absolutely lovely opener there for Holly. So comfortable. T now, another, another 60. 60 kilo bench opener. Going to have a very close flight on bench today. Yeah, again, a lovely, another lovely controlled lift. Going up now, 65 kilos oh, on the bar for Charlie. You can see Charlie's opted to not take a hand out. I think since COVID, actually, a lot of lifters have now or you've had a, there's been a bit of a change in lifters actually wanting on the wanting handouts. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Wow. An explosive over yeah, there from Charlie. I moved like the bar, that was lovely. Six seven point five now for Emma. And another lovely opener there from Emma. She did get one red, I believe, for missing the rack man, but. Seventy kilo, seventy kilos now for Lauren. Nice, steady on rack. And a nice first attempt. Yeah, absolutely lovely that.
72.5 kilos now for Anna. Breezy, breezy opener there. Yeah, lovely three white lights. Yeah, just another another great opener, really. Rounding off the openers now. Seven, oh, no. Yeah, 75. Yeah, yeah, 75 kilos. With Molly Winter here. Lovely red plate with a comp clip. Yeah, I know. I know that's 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 a milestone for some of our lifters today. I think some people will be hoping to get this to maybe kind of that, yeah. in their thirds. Yeah. For those at home watching, um, IPF lifters are allowed to arch. I know this is something that is hotly contested online currently, um, as the IPF does have elbow depth rules, which if so. I know Lewis has run into hot water recently <laughs> with a TikTok regarding, regarding his arch on bench. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as long as the, the uh, end point of your elbow goes below the middle of your shoulder joint, then uh, the head ref will deem the elbow depth. And um, that rule was implemented at the start of last year, I believe. Yeah. Um, we've not seen any issues on elbow depth from anyone today. Um, the rule kind of only really affected a tiny, tiny proportion of lifters. Mm. But um, but yeah, here we are today. Katie, 57.5, second attempt. First attempt was absolutely nothing to it. So I don't think it's gonna, this, this isn't gonna pose any problems. It's a bit of a grind there. It looked more like a misgroove than, yeah. than a strength yeah, issue. I agree. Estelle now, 62.5. Like we said earlier, you can see some of the lifters are taking quite conservative jumps, only going up to 62.5. Ooh, ooh. And she loses Just that. Just a little, a uh, little bit too hard today, I think. Um, she didn't really seem to want to move off her chest. Good, good catch from the uh, from the spotters there. I think the ref just speaking to her to make sure that she stays with the bar as well. Yeah, it's, it's important for for the safety of the spotters, for our lifters not to be not to be dumping uh, weight on any of the um, any of the spotters. So we can see LA is taking 62.5. Nice five kilo jump. Yeah, starting on a lower number, but then opting to take larger jumps rather than. A little bit of a push. Still a nice second though. Yeah, no issues there for LA. Charlotte now, 65 kilos on the bar again. You can see a lot of lifters opting to wear slipper-like shoes as well now. Yeah, it's kind of reducing any distance between their actual feet and the, the ground. Being able to feel the floor, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's a bit of a slip issue with some of these carpets. Um, so 
yeah, the tourist lifts, um, Avancus being the, the new shoe, really. Vivo Vivo Vivo's, yeah. Well. You do see a couple of dancing shoes here and there as well. Uh, just very yeah, grippy. Yeah, the, the odd one. <laughs> yeah. Natalie Wicket coming out now again. 65 kilos on the bar. It's going to be a very tight flight, I think, for... Less work for the spotters and loaders. <laughs> It's lovely. a lovely bench from Natalie there. So controlled. Yeah, absolutely flawless there. Holly opting to take 65, I believe, as well. Like you said, less work for the spotters. Yeah, absolutely. I think anybody that has volunteered at a competition, regional or national, knows that it is a very, it's a very strenuous, strenuous day. Yeah, our, without our volunteers, none of this is possible. So um, obviously they're they're a huge part of British powerlifting. Um, so yeah, without them, the comps just simply wouldn't happen. So we're incredibly go grateful for them. Holly now, 65. Absolutely routine weight there for Holly. Lovely stuff. Wonder if she will attempt 70 for her third. I can't see why not. See, again, T just explaining how she'd like her hand out. Sometimes it is a little bit hard on first attempts to make sure it is right. It's always the question on three or after three. <laughs> second here yeah that was that was very easy Charlie taking 70 kilos here it's interesting to see how all the different athletes like to set their arch. You know, some, some people kind of push up the bench. Some people obviously do what Charlie's just done. Some people stand on their toes. Some people stand on their heels. It just shows, you know, there's, there's no proper set way to do it. Lovely, Lovely control bench there from Charlie. Super quick press, man. Like you were saying earlier, just, I, think, yeah. I think a lot of people bring it really slowly to their chest to make sure that they kind of get not a speedy press command but I think if it's like you said if it's getting dumped on your chest it's, it's making sure, sure the control is there I think as we move into our third attempt you'll start to see that lifters will miss groove based on on technical issues rather than strength nine times out of ten second again yeah again the girls of the bench bench today is absolutely phenomenal yeah you see this angle here um it's kind of the angle that the ref gets the the side refs get and um they're watching for you know heels coming up a bit of butt lift um because all those points of contact have to stay in contact for the bench rest to count Bit of a close grip here for Emma. Still speedy as anything yeah, though. Absolutely no issues there. Two to one. Yeah, often you see people trying to get as much technically out of their body with a high arch and wi uh, wide grip. Then you do get some lifters who are just stronger, just got sh naturally strong arms. Anna Foster now, 77.5 kilos on the bar.
A lovely second again. I think we could be seeing north of 80 from Anna for her third. See Molly is one of our first lifters today, attempting 80 kilos. For a first flight, this we've got some strong benches on the cards today. Absolutely. This is uh, if this were the first flights out, we're gonna, gonna be seeing some very impressive benches later on. Little bit of a fight. She gets it up, gets the rat command. Three white lights. We might not see the biggest of jumps from her for a third. Yeah, just a bit of a second point on that lockout, really. Katie now kicking off the third attempt with 60 kilos on the bar. See the refs here really getting on a level. Ooh. She gonna Ooh, unlucky. I think just a little bit too heavy today. Unlucky there for Katie, but again, great benching. Only two fails. Getting to getting to round three of benching. That's that's, that's not bad going. Yeah, it's been some very speedy benches today. Yeah, just great, absolutely great technical execution today. So we can see Estelle asking for a handout. She's retaking Again. Just a little bit too heavy there today for Estelle. Four lifters taking 67.5 kilos very surely. Up first, 65, Ale. Up to for a 2.5 kilo jump, which I would expect most of the lifters in the flight to be taking. We've seen a couple of fives. Ooh, unlucky there. Just taking off that off the chest sticking point. Yeah, it's a little bit hard. Bars loaded again. Quick turnaround. 67 for Charlotte. Third there. <laughs> Jumps of joy there. from her. She seems very, very happy with that. Sixty-seven point five now for Natalie. Oh, 
Ooh, just a little bit too heavy, I think, yeah, for Natalie. Yeah, waiting for the press command. Ooh, it's kind of shaking our shoulder. I hope she's okay. I hope that's that's not anything serious. Yeah, it did seem to dip to one side, so maybe yeah. she's... But then here comes Holly straight away for the exact same way. Same rack height as well. Yeah. <laughs> Like we've said multiple times today, extremely close flight for bench today. And a lovely third attempt. That was lovely there from Holly. Just a little a little while of the start yeah. command, but nothing that she couldn't handle. And that's three for three on bench. Could see she had to push straight a little bit, but nothing that didn't look. Yeah. It's great lifting. T now, the same weight again. Is it the same rack height as well? Another lovely bench. It, but a lovely, lovely third there. Seeing Charlie, I believe, taking 75. Oh, Lauren, sorry. 75 kilos on the bar. Reds and comp clips. Yeah. It's a lovely milestone for someone who has to be hitting. And she pushes three. See what the refs say. Three white lights. It's a lovely bench press from Lauren. Go three for three. So now we've got Charlie coming out for 75. Same weight again. Like you said, it is really interesting to watch how each lifter sets up. Oh wow! So controlled to the chest. Bench I didn't know press how that was going to go. Absolutely. Seventy-seven now on the bar for Emma. Just can't get it quite past that sticking point. You can see Anna Foster's taking the second 80 kilos of the flight. Yeah, just last two benches of flight now. She pushes through. through. And that's three white lights. 
obviously she's very happy. <laughs> to maintain that composure after oh, a little man. after a little mishap, that's that's you know if anything that's more impressive. But that's great, great set of benching from her. You can see Molly is about to take 82.5. Biggest bench of the flight. She did have to work for her 80, so. See, Molly is actually one of the lifters that opts to wear heels for bench. Really burying her traps into the pad. Just okay. off the chest there. Just a little bit heavy today. Kicking off the next flight of benching. There's a lot of lifters pushing someone opening on 100 kilos. Wow. I think we could see that's, some big numbers huge, from Grace yeah, today. That's huge. It's going to be very, very good round of benching coming up now. So I can see Molly here opening on 57.5. Speedy opener though. Zara, arguably the best squat grind of the day, is opening. Yeah, on. wow. <laughs> 70 kilos for bench. Just explaining the kind of handout that she wants. Taking the time here. Wow. Speedy opener. Nice, confident opener there from Zara. Yeah, it's often um, in terms of timing and setup. Bench is often the one that takes the longest yeah, to set absolutely. up, but then the quickest to execute the lift. You can see Gemma is opening on Speedy opener Speedy though. Speedy opener, yeah, from Gemma. That was lovely. I believe her last Three bench wise, of yeah. prep was uh, 80 kilos, so. Might see her push that today. Lucy Cork now. Taking the same as Gemma. Again. 
It's another lovely bench opener. Some of these openers don't even look like they're registering to the lifters. <laughs> no, not at all. The 72, the new bar. It's a heavy bar. <laughs> can see Phoebe taking another 72.5. That's some exceptionally close bench openers. And In both flights. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So confidently to the chest and then the press yeah, is... Absolutely nothing in that for her. So easy. Lucy Gill, 72.5 kilos again. A lot of lifters opting for a handout today. Yeah, to be fair, I think a lot of the, um, like we were talking about earlier with the arch and grip width. It's very true. I think sometimes it's even, uh, you can press it, but getting it off the rack's actually harder than. <laughs> Yeah, super comfortable opener again for Lucy. You can see the first 75 kilos of the flight. That juicy red and clip. Abby now. Those lifters that clearly has quite a, a big arch, but like we were saying earlier, with elbow depth rules. As long as, long as she's in, it's, uh, it's relevant. See, Lizzie is taking 77.5. She had some speedy squat setups earlier, so I don't expect her bench to be any, any different. bit on the slow side for an opener but still move again, nice regardless yeah. yeah still move super lovely she might just be a slightly slow adventure we don't know we don't know until these these the seconds commence but um sort of very comfortable 77.5 now for kira Tiny bit of a sticking point there, but I think maybe it's a wobble off the chest. Essentially just a bit of a miscrew. Yeah, very true. Yeah, from the replay. Doesn't look like anything, anything major. Abigail now, 8 to 2.5. Getting some lovely opening weight here. One of our lifters that swings and then pushes onto the onto the pad. Lovely opener. That's three white lights. It's a lovely lift. Eight five kilos now for Erica.
Erica really dialing herself in here. Sure, our viewers can hear in the background the music that we've currently got in Gymshark. Definition of hype gym music. Lovely opener there for yeah, Erica. Speedy as anything. She struts off. <laughs> Very happy with how that moved. It's Kerry now. 85 kilo. Oh, wow. Speedy as anything. Wow. Absolutely lovely opener. This is a huge opener. Absolutely enormous opener. How do you feel about that, Sonny? Considering it's my current max, um, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> One day I'll open on 100 kilos. <laughs> and Grace wow. is looking very strong today. That was a very easy opener. My very ego, my easy. My ego is bruised. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, mate, someday. I think it's going to be quite a, quite a tight race between Kerry and Grace today. In the 84s. 2.5 kilos in it at the moment. Yeah, that's very true. Kerry with a bit of a lead on squat, and uh, Grace just pushing away with that monster bench opener. Sixty two point five kilos now. A lovely second there from Molly. See now for Zara. I still can't get over that squat. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it's gonna be the talk of Honestly, the day. Honestly, lifter of the day for me so far. She works for it. A bit harder than an opener. But a lovely second. Lovely second, yeah. And the refs agree. Yeah, refs are very happy with it. Gemma now, 77.5. Seven if this goes well, I assume she's, she's gunning for that 82.5 today. Wow, and a speedy smooth second. second attempt there from Gemma. I would, you can see almost the three wise, <laughs> and she's very happy about that. 
I know Gemma's comp max is currently 72.5, so she, I, I know not she, anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> so I know she'll definitely be very happy with that. Lucy now, 77.5 again. I think we'll have a string of 77s now. Yeah, I think we've got about four or five of them. It's in moments like this, though, that if anyone fails a lift, it makes it a little, it makes it more interesting, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, changes up the podium. However, we're going to have to see what Hannah and Esther are saying in the, uh, the, the final benches. flight. Yeah, absolutely. Another speedy second from Lucy. Perfect, perfect second, absolutely. Another 77.5 kilo bench. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I, her opener move the same. That's how a second move. I don't think a third's going to move any different. Yeah, I can definitely see that being an 82 as a third or. Absolutely. Lucy Gill now, 77.5. Sometimes, though, that comp, that comp day adrenaline can really make your numbers yeah, absolutely. so much quicker. A bit of push. work, yeah, but yeah. still a very nice second. One of the 77 lifters, or the <laughs> lifters that have taken 77 that might take a more conservative jump for their thirds. 80 See. kilos. I think she just lost it on her chest there. I don't think that was, uh, I think it was more of a technical issue to be honest with you. Mm. Um, just seemed to kind of It was quite quick down to the chest, yeah. so sometimes, sometimes when they then go to press afterwards, just that slight, even if it's off by like a couple mil, it yeah, just feels so, hard. so much harder. Eight kg now for Lizzie. One of our lifters today with a slightly narrower grip. Sometimes means they can muscle through them a bit more. As you've just As seen. As she's just done, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Rest team a good lift, absolutely. There's always different benefits to different tech. You can see Kira taking 80 as well. Of Ooh. work, but three whites, yeah, absolutely good lift. There's another 2.5 kilos on the board, so you know that's always something to be mm. always something to be happy about. You can see Abigail here taking 87.5. Just reiterating the the handout that she wants. I think sometimes when people get training partners that they get so used to getting their handouts from, <laughs> yeah. they suddenly get one from a, from a volunteer. It just doesn't quite feel the same. Oh, 
Ooh. but she just loses that off the chest there. It's a little bit hard today. Unlucky though, we might see her come out and do it again. Erica taking 87.5. She's just really locking in here for bench. Speedy second. Yeah, I don't think there's any issues for her there. I think she'll be yeah, very happy. Yeah. Three wide lights. very happy with that, as she should be. I think 90 to could definitely be on the cards for her today. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be, I'd be shocked if she doesn't load a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Speaking of 90, here's Kerry. 90 kilos on the bar. The way 85 moved, this is just going to be, going to be just as easy. I have watched Kerry take 90 kilos multiple times, so. Routine weight for Kerry. Oh, absolutely. Speed yeah. Second. Big smile on her face. She's very happy with that. Got 105. Wow. Now on the bar. Big second. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> and it's bruised a little more. <laughs> so Grace keeping up with, what shall I say? Grace and Kerry both both adding the same numbers to their totals currently. They're very so neck and neck. Definitely going to be a pull for podium today. Wow. Absolutely no issues there. Just another. Yeah. To the chest. I think <laughs> that might be quicker than 100 looking back. That was that was an absolutely rapid second mm. attempt. I think we can definitely expect 95 from Kerry and 110 from Grace. I, 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 think, I think we will be seeing that. Um, kicking off the third attempts now. Got Molly Genoa, 67.5. Oh, and she just loses that off the chest. Ooh, unlucky there. Everyone will be pushing for all the kilos they can get today. You know, it's, it's nationals, it's the big comp, so sometimes we might see some lifters fall just short. Um, Zara up next, 77.5, conservative jump. I think she did have to work a little bit for her second, if I do remember correctly, so. We do know she can grind out a lift. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> if it stops, the odds seem to be in her favor. For a second there, 
I thought, thought we were she might get, push through. Um, <laughs> thought we get a, a repeat of the third squat. But no, it's just a little bit too much for Zara today. 80 kilos now for Gemma. To be fair, I think with Zara, you could see the, the fatigue in her arm as yeah, she was unwrapping. Yeah, I can imagine. So Gemma opting to hit 80, despite how quick 77 moved, really. Yeah. Oh, and lovely. As anything. Yeah. I know she'll be very happy with I think that. she's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's very happy about that. I think it's a big comp PB for her. A big redemption story. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I believe she had some issues with her prep. Um, but yeah, up next, 80 kilos again. She pushes through. And she through it. Redemption from the second. Three what wide lines. <laughs> what a lovely third attempt there from Abby. Lucy opting to take 80 as well. Swing and a push for her setup. And she grinds. Ooh, unlucky. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky there. Eight two point five now for Lucy. This is some big weight for for sixty nine lifters. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Really nice push through. through that, yeah. Could clearly see where she was fighting against the bar path, which is. Yeah, not often an, an easy thing to do. Yeah. 82.5 again for Lizzie. She muscled through her 80, so. Oh, oh, nearly. It's a little bit too heavy today, unfortunately, but nonetheless, great lifting from Lizzie. Yeah, definitely. Lizzie's had a great day so far. Kira now, chest there it's a little bit too heavy after after the way to moved. but yeah another another great set of benching from uh, from our athletes today last five of the flight
Oh, and a very convincing third there. So quick. Great set of benching from Phoebe there. Abigail here taking 87.5 again. I think she just lost it off the chest on her second, so. Let's see what the refs say first. Ooh, good lift. You can see Erica opting to take 90. Energy Eric has been bringing today has been immaculate. Just so composed. And a lovely third. <laughs> that is a very, very happy Erica. As she should. Carry opting to take 92.5 on the more conservative side. I think it's a big Jim PB. Not Jim. Comp. 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 The way Knighty moved, this is this is gonna fly. third bench there from Kerry three wide lights three for three for Kerry you can see Grace is opting for 110 to try and secure a few more extra kilos on on Kerry third from Grace. Yeah, absolutely no issues there. So I think this is quite see in front of us. The fight for first for the 84s is looking like it's going to be very interesting. Kicking off the final flight now. You can see Yaz is opening on 92.5 this flight. We've got some very strong benches here. Easy opener there for Cairo. Got 
got 72.5 on the bar for Hannah. Hannah seems to like to take her time. She's going out now. If you have a full minute, you might as well use it. It's very true. Seven to two point five kilos on the bar. Oh wow. That's a very maker. easy bench. She's got seventy five on the bar for Ella Parsons. Lovely and controlled yeah, first attempt. Speedy opener there. Seventy five kilos again. Saving up for Lois. Easy opener. You can see we've got Amelia here taking 80 for her opener. Very speedy opener there from Amelia. <laughs> Esther now, 87.5. Opening a fair bit higher than Hannah, who's probably her, you know, closest competitor. Um, so this is going to be bench is going to be really important in those kind of deciding kilos between the totals for the you know, who who places on the podium. Yeah, um, definitely. I don't know what either of their deadlifts are going to look like today, um, but Esther is clearly leading on bench. Oh, that looked That's easy. Such That's such so such easy. <laughs> Definitely got some some good benching to look forward to from Esther today. Isabel here opening with eight seven point five as well. Very, Very easy quick bench. as well. Yeah, yeah, wow. Explosive. We've not really seen any technical failures today, have we? I know, to be fair. Emily now, another big bencher. Also taking 87.5. 
also in contest for podium, uh, I, I'd, I'd like to think. Another speedy 87 there. Yeah, comfortable bet. 2 to 1. <laughs> Yaz opening on 92.5. Massive bencher today. I believe she did recently bench 100 at Bench Nats. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. Might see her push a little higher today. Just try and, trying to secure all the kilos on the total as you possibly can. Yeah. Yes, there's another lifter not to not to sleep on today. She's she's already got international comps under her belt from bench worlds and uni worlds. Yes, very true. Wow. Yeah. It's absolutely nothing. Starting to kick off the second attempt, the final flight now. You can see Cairo opting for a seven and a half kilo jump for 75. I think near enough every opener from that flight just moved so quick. Yeah, it really did. That was a, a, bit, a bit of a silly round of <laughs> openers, yeah. <laughs> would almost expect some some very quick benches. And Another again, super close grip. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, near enough everyone taking five kilo jumps. What a second. Hannah has got some strength behind her today. She might push for that third. We definitely expect her to. Especially with the race with her and Esther. Yeah. Every kilo counts. <laughs> <laughs> Deadlifts will be very interesting. Mm. Eight kilos now. Easy. Speed Absolutely second again. lovely. Ella Parsons taking 82.5 kilos here. A bit of a sticking point there, but that was another speedy second. Amelia now. With 85 on the bar.
taken another very quick second there. Esther now, 92.5 kilos. If this moves quick, could we expect 100 today? It'd be a big jump. It would. It would. And uh, I think, yeah, Barbell Coalition athlete, so uh, <laughs> I'm not sure they're going to uh, strive off the game plan. One of our lovely sponsors of today. Yeah, absolutely. One of the gold sponsors. So smooth. I'd, ex Love I'd expect match. 97, but like yeah. you said, Barbell Coalition love the golden path. Isabel now. Another 92.5 here. Unfortunately, Isabel missed her second. Emily now, 92.5. Unfortunate. So we've got Yaz now coming out for Taking the time setting up. I imagine she's gonna want to push push a hundred or higher for her third. So just banking on this to move really well, I think. Ooh, lovely. It's good lift. So coming in to our third squat, third squats, <laughs> third benches of flight. You can see Cairo has opted for a 2.5 kilo jump. Oh, and she muscles through it. Lovely third attempt. Lois coming out for 82.5. A 
Stella Parsons now coming out for 85 kilos. third again. Eight to five now for Hannah. Important bench, she needs to put these kilos on, but based off how 77.5 moves, she's gonna absolutely smoke this. It's a big jump. Yeah, definitely. Like you said, really trying to get those extra yeah. kilos in uh, against Esther. I back it. I back it. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. wow. I know we said we backed it, but I didn't think we thought it was I didn't quite be. back it like that. <laughs> that was what a lovely third that was from a her. fantastic third bench press. Wow. Don't be shy. Put more on the bar. <laughs> yeah. 90 was there. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. That's so important in this title race. Mm. Amelia now with 87. I think Hannah has cleared most of her um, comp PBs with 85. Really? By like a long way. Yeah, the 69s today are definitely. The standards just. just, just it's just, yeah. She fights, she fights. What a grind, but the judges I'm going to see what the way are. Yeah, Just downward motion downward there. So hard to, gr to even press out after the bar comes down. Yeah. So it's such a strange. Yeah, so Just unlucky that, there. A little bit of movement down. You can see Isabel's retaking 92.5. Just trying to get another bench on the board. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wow. speedy as anything. Yeah, so maybe the second was just complete technical issue. Yeah. <laughs> there was no lack of strength there. Wow. I was saying earlier, we hadn't really seen many technical faults. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so quick down to the chest as well. Emily now co also coming out retaking. to retake the same weight. Yeah. Lovely. And yet again, another great redemption. Absolutely. Must have been a miscreep or something on the first because both lifters have just Smashed destroyed the way they failed. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Smashed their thirds. As you can see Esther is taking 95. Conservative third. Just another two kilos on the 2.5 kilos on the board there, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. keeps that gap between her and Hannah. It's a lovely Hannah third bench nice, press. Yeah. I did say 97 might have been a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go handle it? <laughs> yeah, 
again, handling is one of those things that I just don't think people give enough credit for. No, no. Anyway, we've got Yaz coming out for 102.5. Some absolutely huge bench press for a 69. I believe this will be a two and a half kilo PB for, for Yaz. She fights. Oh, wow. Locks through. Three white lights. It's a great end to an absolutely great round of benching. Yeah, truly. Like some, some strong 69 benches. Looking at the leaderboards now. In first place, projected first place, Esther. Um, looking at kind of. Yeah, four she really 54. has solidified that gap. Yeah, that gap between her and Hannah is just it's getting a little bit bigger. Opening higher on uh, deadlifts as well. Second place is um, it's actually Amelia, not Hannah. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, just kind of slip, slip by. But yeah, she's been she's been very consistent. So um, that's certainly showing on the leaderboard. But um, I think we're going to have a pretty interesting title battle. There are some. The, the, the podium for 69 today is uh, it's not going to be an easy thing to get on. Um, we are taking a break and we will be shortly back for you for deadlifts. Goodbye. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility. These new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, and we are back. Kicking off the first flight. 
For deadlifts is Molly with 125 kilos on the bar. This is where we're really going to see the battle start to pan out as these deadlifts progress. Easy opener there for Molly. Making short work of 125 kilos. Holly coming out now. One twenty seven point five kilos on the bar. The goal really with these openers is just to kind of make them move as quickly as possible. It's kind of really really set yourself up for those heavier pulls. You don't want to be fatiguing yourself too much with uh, your first deadlift, but that was smooth as anything from Holly. Absolutely lovely work. Got one thirty on the bar for Natalie Wicket. Lovely snappy opener. <laughs> Little frog stance. It's not it's not common, but it's not rare. Kind of an adaptation between sumo and conventional. But a very easy opener for Emma. Got Estelle Varley coming out with 135. Nice easy opener there. Yeah, nice snappy lockout. Foreign coming out for 137.5, one of our sumo lifters of the flight. Smooth. That's a lovely, lovely first attempt. <laughs> T coming out for 140 here. Another conventional puller by the looks of it. textbook mm. didn't look zero effort but didn't look hard yeah, either just, yeah absolutely lovely Lovely opening there for Charlie. Hey, 
LA coming out for 145. Nice opener from LA. Charlotte opening on 147.5. KE opening on 150. <laughs> nice easy opener there. <laughs> Anna coming out for 152.5. If these move anything like her squats, it's going to be a very fast deadlift. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, snappy as Yeah, anything. perfect. On to second attempts now. <laughs> Molly opting to jump 7.5 kilos to 132. And a very nice second. That's true. Yeah, it's a very, very, very well executed first round of deadlifts. So the second attempt to go just as smoothly, and yeah. Yeah, the first person to miss a lift is gonna be. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Go on, Holly. Just to work for a lovely. little bit, but a lovely second attempt, regardless. Wow. Lovely second. Lovely second indeed. She has to work for it, but 
Lovely lift. Still left some kilos left. Yeah, definitely. Definitely not. Definitely not too hard. It's often conventional lifters that can just keep. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep on pulling. pulling. Yeah. So Emma's got one four two on the bar. Yeah, these these deadlifts attempt now are really starting to solidify totals. Mm. So this is where we really start to see where these podium battles are, and you start to see, you know, your, the power of a big pull. Oh, pulls through. Yeah, lovely second. Yeah, this is this is where you know the the, the deadlift can have the final say. Mm. Um, you know, we're talking about in this in this final flight in the final flight, we've got yeah. some. Um, so a, a, a tight contest for the podium, and um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good watch. We've got Lauren Keating up next with 150 on the bar, taking a 12 and a half kilo jump. Hoping it's blue. Uh, yeah, it was snappy yeah. as anything. So. Yeah, she's one of our sumo lifters. So sumo, I feel like fatigues quite a lot quicker in comparison to combi on your hips yeah, and a lovely, yeah, lovely, lovely lockout, speed yeah. second the concept of keep pulling on sumo is a bit harder than <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> combi. T's also got 150 on the bar now yeah I believe uh, her opener was uh it was quite a quick one, I remember. Love these strength shop socks. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> An amazing second attempt. Charlie also taking 150. A lovely second from Charlie. One five five now on the bar for Allah. Seeing some big pulls towards the end of this round. Mm. You know, all, all the attempts in. Not even on thirds yet. Yeah, not even close. second yeah. definitely some kilos left mm. sometimes just takes a while to pull the hips through and um, she I think she executed that really 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 well you can really see when she's um, kind of wedging over and over the slack is just really yeah got Charlotte on 160 here that's lovely and smooth Yeah. Easy second attempt there. Mm. I think we could definitely see 170 from Charlotte today. Yeah, certainly possible. But that's a big milestone a lot of these girls will be chasing mm. today. Kind of getting those, those three, three reds on the bar, yeah. It's a big deadlift. Mm. He's just pulling that with ease. Yeah, that was not not much issue for her at all.
Smooth, very, very smooth deadlift from Anna there. Wow. A third, a third could be big. Every time an announcer says that, they jinx it. Every time, without fail. <laughs> if, if the person on the mic starts going, will this be a perfect flight? No, it won't. Nobody's dropped a deadlift yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And then... Favor, <laughs> and as we're on deads, probably the yeah. easiest thing to fail. <laughs> 137 for Molly now. Little five kilo jump. Been a great day for Molly so far. She pulls. I, like we just said. <laughs> every every time. But yeah. Unlucky there for Molly. Okay. She's you, been absolutely you, fantastic today. But um, yeah, I think Dylan Elson might have a uh, have a lot to answer for there uh, <laughs> if, if if you fancy uh, to get, get some revenge. Yeah. Come on, now, Holly. Can see Holly really getting zoning in. Consoled by Pape. <laughs> Big last pull. Oh, she locks it out. Let's see what the refs say. Fantastic. <laughs> With a little celebration happy, yeah. there. I think that's a very, very happy Holly. I have seen Holly grind out some deadlifts. Yeah, the moment absolutely. it was moving slow, I was like, I've seen it move slower. <laughs> Got one four five on the bar now for Natalie. You can really feel the energy from the crowd, even from here commentating. And she's pulling. She's fighting for it. What? Oh, the lock out. Just. What a great day for Natalie. It's got one four seven on the bar now for Emma. Really hyping herself up. Emma is our froggy puller of the flight. Oh, unlucky. Just, just lost it. Yeah, I think just a little bit too heavy on the day. But a great performance from Emma today. She'll be very proud of herself. So got Stell's, got 150. Another lifter that's just had a really good day. Yeah, she's been on, she's been on key form from what I've seen. Dylan Nelson has a lot to answer for right now. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. What's that about? <laughs> Look what you've done. <laughs> to be fair, if there's a lift to fail, it's your third dead. Yeah, yeah. I can't even argue with that. Fail both of mine. <laughs> T now, 155. 
Come and the on. one thing you can't not credit him for is that man can yell down a microphone. That, that's very true. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, wow! Locks it out. Got it past the shin, and then just yeah, and then just up it went. Yeah. If Dylan Nelson isn't commenting, <laughs> if he's not on the mic at my national comp, I don't want to be there. <laughs> You'll never qualify. <laughs> Charlie Dow, 155 kilos on the bar. Open that's when. Ooh. Wow. She's got it. Wow. What a grind. <laughs> Oh, amazing. What a great day for Charlie, honestly. Absolutely. Yeah, she'd be very happy with herself there. <laughs> what a grind to end it. Yeah, in. wow. <laughs> Lauren going for 157.5. Uh, 150 was very snappy, so. Yeah, we really can't see this being an issue. It's gonna. Locks it out. Let's see what the refs say. Oh, it's unfortunate. Just a tiny hitch on the lockout. Yeah. I don't know if you can call it that. It's just, oh yeah, 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 unfortunately, yeah. Just a little hitch there. Massive deadlift now for a lay. A little back slap. Big hike. Pulling. She's There's no way. There's absolutely there no way. There is no way. Oh, I don't. Oh, that was a fair what attempt. What a fight. What a fight. Even if she didn't get it, the fact that it even came past her shins, I mean. That is just phenomenal. I honestly don't understand how that's, how that's possible. So we've got Katie coming out for 170. Wow. La oh, is she gonna oh just missed it on grip. Just missed it on grip. 
That's so unfortunate. I think Nonetheless, it it's a good, great day for her. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, I mean, Anna now. Eight for nine is still such a... Yeah, absolutely. Still such a respectable performance from Katie today. It's been absolutely amazing. Got 170 on the bar currently. Wow. Easy third attempt. As you probably just heard <laughs> Dylan Nelson say, we've got Charlotte coming up at 170. Final deadlift of flight A. Locks it out. See what the refs say. The refs are. And happy. it's a good lift. It's a good lift. into flight B now. We we'll have Abby starting us off with 135. <laughs> you got Abby now kicking off the next flight of deadlifts. 135 on the bar. Lovely snappy opener. Seems like there's been a green strength shot that was not missing, but. A lovely opener from Molly. Lucy now, 140 on the bar. Easy opener there for Lucy. It's got Lucy coming out with one four two. Phoebe taking the same way. 1.2, all very routine. All very routine um, oh, weights for these girls. And a lovely opener from Phoebe. She did get a red that was marked blue. I think that was because there was a slight wobble at the top. Sometimes when sumo pullers do have a really snappy lockout, they can kind of have balance issues. Oh, 
Gemma's got one four five on the bar. She is another sumo puller. Easy op second? No open. Sorry, that's just no, the, uh, the the live stream being a bit funny there. <laughs> um, <laughs> very easy second at first for Gemma. Lizzie now one forty five as well. Very nice out now. Absolutely. One forty five for Zara now. It would appear she's not in the holding room just yet. Not too sure if she's I believe that might be what Oh, we could have an issue here. Uh lifter. Oh, they've restarted the clock for her because um, circumstances it that it were. Appears somebody's given her a circumstances that were not in her control. Oh, platform clue, just just trying to help calm the nerves. Yeah, rightfully so. I think if I'd lost my belt at comp, I'd be yeah, it'd be a little feeling bit feeling pretty flustered. Just come out now for her opener. Should be nice and easy. Just hopefully blow off some of that stress. Hook grip, first hook grip that I've seen today. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. Yeah, easy. Lovely opener. Easy opener. Talk about using emotion as fuel. She, something about she, tout. She's, yeah, <laughs> I think she realized she hasn't got any on. <laughs> Well, uh, as if everything couldn't possibly go how you'd want it to, and you still pulled your open like that. No belt, no talc. Uh, having to randomly use someone else's. Um, yeah, Here, absolutely I'm fair gonna, play to I'm her and her handler. Lifter of the day. She's, she's, she's it's been interesting. Kira now with 160. Nice opener. Yeah, I had to work for a little bit, but some combi pullers are just slow lockouts. Just slow, yeah, it's yeah. Just, just the nature of the lift. I've got Grace up next, going for one six two point five. Grace has actually got a mouth guard in, um, something some lifters do opt to wear uh, for mainly squat and deadlifts. It is pretty rare to see it for a bench. Got one six five on the bar here. 
two reds and a blue. Easy opener for Erica. Lovely wrap. Absolutely lovely, yeah. Three white lights. Got some big pulls coming now. Speedy opener from Abby there. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Kerry Wood now, 170 kilos on the bar. Really dining herself in now. I think Dad's is one of those lifts that. Oh, wow. A lovely opener. Some of those lifts that people really do need to kind of get in the mental zone for. It's where we tend to see the most hype. You know, if, if there's a squat specialist around, might see them getting the most hype for their third, but usually a bit of, uh, a bit of gas is needed for a nice deadlift. Pulls through. Yeah, lovely fight there. Good second attempt. Lovely second. Yeah, easy, really easy. Smooth lockout. Lovely. <laughs> Molly now, one fifty kilo. Easy. Easy second. Oh. Oh. No, she put it down. No. She put it down. I think she just. I think on the bounce she let go. So it, it looked. It looked a little. Uh, almost like it would drop, but no, that was a very, very good second attempt from Molly. Got Gemma Jenna Smith now taking one five two point five. Well, one forty five moved. Mm. I believe her current PR is in the 150s. Ooh, okay. So. Might be seeing a push that today. Mm. Yeah, lovely second again. Very easy. Excited to see what she pulls for her third or puts in for it. Lucy aiming for a 10 kilo jump for her second. Her first moved really nice as well, so I'd expect the same. Shout out 
had to work with it off the floor a little bit, but very nice nonetheless. Phoebe taking a 10 kilo jump, um, regardless of technically failing her first. She only failed her first on the uh, little wobble she had at the top of her wrap. Much more comfortable. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, definitely, gonna, a, definitely a right call there. A, a lot more confidence going into her third attempt now because um, you know she's, she's got a deadlift on the board. Mm. Um, support for the platform crew. Uh, just trying to cheer on the lifters. One fifty five now for Lizzie. Ooh, that's very unlucky. Very unlucky. I think she could have that for her third. Take a, it's gonna take a bit of a bit mm. of a scream and a shout, maybe some smelling salts when it was gone. Much more, <laughs> much less distressing. The, gr the green belt is back. A much less distressing. Uh, second attempt. Yeah, second attempt this time. Yeah. She's found her belt. Big jump, biggest jump of the of the flight so far. Again, hook yeah. grip. Wow. Yeah, hook for conventional is not actually that common. <laughs> wow, what a lift. Easy. Lovely stuff there from Zara. Three white lights. Yeah, much more composed mm. and much less panicked. Not through her own fault. Much less panicked lift. Um, just had they had some belt issues and um, just some lost kit. Um, but yeah, lovely lifting from Zara. Up next, Kira with 167.5 kilos on the bar. To be fair, it wouldn't be the first time somebody came onto platform without their equipment. Yeah, that's very true. So Kira coming out for 167.5 here. And she's oh, and she gets it to her knee and can't quite grind past it. So I've got Erica going for 170 now for her second attempt. So keep her in the fourth position. So we're starting to get into realistically the last two lifts that are going to really cement podium. Yeah, yeah, the 84s will be the side of this flight, isn't it? A lovely, lovely deadlift, second, yeah. yeah. Just so smooth. No, it's definitely got more kilos in the tank. Yeah, hundred percent. Let's see. Grace is going for a ten kilo jump to one seventy-two point five. So we'll keep her in first at the moment.
breaks the floor and locks out nicely. Second pull here. Yeah, so Abigail's Put her into second place. It will put Elena in second place temporarily. Provided that then Kerry would get her second. It's going to be very tight from first to third. I don't think anyone's yeah, podium. Is. No one's podium position is really secured at the moment. Ooh. We'll see what the refs say. Might get. Ooh. Yeah, so unlucky. she's got blue light or red that have been marked as blue there for the slight hitching. I expect to come out and take that again. Yeah, definitely. This Carry is now there. for 180. And I expect her to make this move. She has lifted it before. It's a routine training way at this point. Come on, Kerry. Oh, lovely. Oh, and a lovely second. Definitely a couple of kilos to spare as well. Mm. I think that so solidifies her in first, I believe. No, she's currently second. No, second. Oh, is it the... Uh, so it's be, be yeah, between her and Grace for first. Kicking off the thirds now. Ooh, just a little bit heavy today. You can see she started to break the floor, but just couldn't quite. So Lizzie did feel, feel fail her second attempt. So she's coming out to retake it. Come on, Lizzie. It's your final lady She did bring it just to the shin. Oh, it was a little too much today. I think just a bit fatigued after after failing a second. But um, nonetheless, a great round of lifting from Lizzie today. She'll be very proud of herself. coming out here for 155. And she locks it out. Let's see what the refs say. That's a good lift. <laughs> We're seeing some really heavy deadlifts starting to ramp up now. Oh, she's 
sticks with it, sticks with it. Lovely. What a lovely third. Patient off the ground. And it paid Two off. It's a good lift. Great day of lifting from Lucy today. It's got Phoebe up next. And 157.5. She did miss her first from a little wobble. I love I very happy Phoebe there. <laughs> very deserving celebration there. Big celebrations, yeah, absolutely. Gemma now, 160. I believe this will be a PR for her. You can see she's really locked in. Really attacking her set up here. she lock it oh, oh i think she just got stuck yeah. in that very last position nonetheless what that was so what close a day for so Gemma. close and what a day for Gemma. she's absolutely fantastic eight for nine Huge with what she said was just well, yeah. what she said was a, an awful prep so she'd be very proud of herself molly now 160 Locks it out. See what the ref say. Two, Two to, to one. one. It's a good lift. I think that's just skipping down command on the from the centre ref. Got Kira now. Zoning into pool one six seven point five. I believe she did fail her 167 just off the shin. She's pulling. Oh, so lucky. Again, so. Last, another great performance for Kira today. Yeah, some really solid lifts from her. Yeah, all of these lifts now. Just, yeah, wow. Massive, massive lifts. Zara pulling 170 now. Fantastic if she gets this. Mm. You know what? I'm not even sure if that is hot grip. I think that's double overhand. I'm, that, I'm almost perplexed now. If that's true, then wow. Oh, wow. Is she going to lock it? Oh, I think she'll get caught on hitching yeah. it. Yeah, no, I think it's <laughs> she always didn't want to let go of that. But, um, what a day think, regardless, yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, nonetheless, yeah, she's absolutely killed it. Such an emotional day for her. Yeah, it's been, it's been done very so well. up and down. But she should not be ashamed of herself at all. I, she seemed quite upset then, but she has been, she's been absolutely I'm gonna fantastic. Say, I'm going to say it right now. I'm her biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> that, that third well, if, if you're listening back to this, Sarah, then uh, <laughs> you've got a fan yeah. now. <laughs> We've got Grace now going for 177.5. She is currently in first. 
So if she doesn't get this, there is a potential for first to open up. Yeah, she does need this left. Mm -hmm. You can see she's really dialing in mentally for this. Yeah, this to round off a fantastic day of lifting. Mm. An absolutely huge total. And she's she's locked she's got it. it. Gets the down command. He has wow. the light, light, so that's... That's huge. That's an absolutely huge result for Grace. So, Kerry has now just changed her final attempt... To 192. To chip, well, chip her off by two and a half kilos. Wow. To pull for first. Oh. It's definitely going to be an exciting final dead of the day. Erica's got 177.5 in the bar as well. Another lifter that's just had a fantastic day so far. She's, she's got it. Wow. What a lift. It's a fantastic third attempt. A truly amazing day for Erica. All of these lifters are just... You can see her just giving yeah, her handler a big hug today. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely moment for Erica there. But now we have two huge deadlifters pulling massive weights now. So you've got Abigail. She's got 180 on the bar. She did fail it on her second. Yes. Yeah, she needs this. So this will keep her in third on podium. Very composed. Wow. Wow. What a final wow. deadlift from Abby. That's fantastic. But now, this We've pull. Arguably got the biggest pull of the day so far. I believe this pull is four first. So if Kerry does get this, this will pull her into first. An absolutely enormous deadlift. For the win. Come on now, Kerry. The crowd are absolutely roaring. She's pulling. Oh, She's pulling. Wow, wow, wow. She's got his stuff oh, on her knee. Just to the knees. Second place, nonetheless, a valiant effort. An you have to respect day. her <laughs> An amazing day of lifting from Carrie. You'd be silly not to load it, let's be honest. But that was just, wow, absolutely phenomenal. What a day. What a day. And we still have now <laughs> have a battle <laughs> in the 69s of just monster deadlifters. So, yeah, I mean, yeah we're, we're in we've for... Got we've got people in the 69 flight C now yeah, that have wow. got 187.5 as openers. It's just, yeah, just insane. Actually saying that, even if you look at the standings currently, Amelia 
could easily pull into second. With how heavy yes, she's, this she's is very true. She's clearly a big puller. Ella now, 135. Love the area from Ella. Yeah, absolutely. Again, another lifter with the SPD behind the back. It just on, the, on the smaller lifters, I think it just allows them to... It just allows a couple of inches. Get, get into a slightly better positioning. Yeah, just imagine it as an extension of, um, of your torso. It's just like taking a couple of inches off. Um, you know, the buckle's in the way, so you're obviously you're having to bend over past that buckle. That's why a lot of lifters opt to use uh, A7, but a similar thing is happens when you turn the buckle around. It's why SBD have brought out their 10mm belt. Yeah, absolutely. Easy opener. Very snappy <laughs> That was fast. Wow. Isabel's got 150 on the bar. Oh, a lo Lovely opener. Snappy lockout. Yaz has got 160 on the bar. I believe she did pull 175 at Uni Worlds. Easy. Very, very easy opener. I don't think there's any bother for her at all. Yeah, very, very easy opener. <laughs> Should be happy about that. Cairo now, 162. Oh. That was fast. <laughs> that was very fast. Again, by Lois, yeah. Again, so many fast, fast openers. Which makes you think there might be some more slightly larger jumps from openers. That to is seconds. very true. That's very true. Conserving energy and. See how to keep up the trend here. Yep, another speedy, yes, speedy opener. Now Esther. Currently in first, I believe. Um, Esther's got yeah, one point two point five on the bar. 
Look Absolutely at it. phenomenal lifter. Yeah. So Hannah's third bench actually got overturned by the jury. Um, apparently she skipped the rack command. Um, so that has kind of changed the playing field here a little bit um, with what would have been a super close battle for podium. Has but that was left. a very, <laughs> very, very fast deadlift for Esther. You blink and you miss it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but never back the big puller. We could have someone, mm. you know, come from fifth to first. It's, uh, it's happened before. Massive, massive opener for Amelia. Yeah, I think Amelia could, could swipe some podium positions today. She's currently in second, I believe. Wow. Lovely opener. Kicking off second attempts, Ella, 145. was snappy so expect a second to move the same and a lovely second a little bit of a stick at lockout but yeah exactly what the uh, MC just had plenty of room for a third mm. absolutely yeah. Emily now Emily dusting off the bottom of her shoes on the corner of the platform. Sometimes sumo lifters, with all the talc they might have on their feet, do find their feet slip. So. Lovely. Lovely second, yeah. Just pulled her into fifth, so she does have another strong. She could potentially podium still. Got Isabel Dowling. Got one six two point five. A lovely second attempt there by Isabel. <laughs> Got Yaz up next with 170. I believe this is five kilos under our comp BB. Esther taking a massive jump to stay over Hannah. I reckon. Do you reckon? What was her first? Same as Hannah, 182. I mean. Yaz gets this, she will stay in fourth. Yeah, lovely second attempt there from Yaz. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Definitely expect to see 180 put in for her third. Oh. 
Kyra now, 172. She is a fast lifter. <laughs> oh, little speed wobble. A tiny bit of a balance issue, um, maybe. Yeah, just yeah. two to one there, just for downward movement or lockout. Um, but I don't think it's anything, you know, strength-wise. Strength no. Yeah, you know, they could load a little bit more and just in her own head, just kind of calm down a little bit, kind of make sure that she's um she's properly engaged with it. Lois now another big puller. Let's take her up two places. Lovely. Lovely. There's a lot of contention between the mid places at the moment, like anywhere from four to seven. It's all very similar. Yeah, very close at the moment. They're all reaching totals just over 400 now. Look at the last three pulls. Of this so there's three round. lifters currently. 405, 407, 407. Massive. Thank you, job. Keeps her in second. Easy. <laughs> Lovely second attempt there. She, big smile on her face. She's very happy with that. Oh, we could be loading. Are we going to see 200 get broken today on in some the, of these deadlifts? In the 69s as well. In the 69s. Wow. Wow. Well, with Esther loading one, 192 for her for her second, I could... Oh, wait, no. Amelia has loaded 200. For a second attempt. Yeah. Wow. We could see three times what do we deadlift today. Hmm. Her first move quick. Oh, Her wow. second wow. move's the same. <laughs> that was amazing. Her third pull was definitely, even if she loaded 202 right now, yeah, I it's, back still, it. it's still going to look good. 200 kilo, wow. This will move Amelia from third into second. I think there's definitely room for a few there more is, pegs there. There is room. So the British so record is 201. Well, I, I think we so guess uh, that's not going to last today. So uh, I think we might be seeing another double record break. Currently, 1.5 kilos between second and third. Wow. <laughs> wow. We might be seeing a few last minute changes to attempts. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is for a nine for nine day. Yeah, Ella's had an exceptional day so far. Oh, wow. Locks it. Lovely deadlift. See what the ref say. And there's three whites. <laughs> She's very proud of herself for that. It's been a fantastic effort. 
But yeah, we're going to see. I'm very excited for this flight to progress. So we've got Emily Brin out net. Emily Brin? I probably said that very wrong. Got 162.5 on the bar. Would move her from seventh into fifth. That being said, seventh to fifth right now is. She has only just come up from some juniors. So um, definitely, definitely something to be very is proud of herself. So for. this is her first year as a junior? I think so. I mean. That being said, the five, six, and seventh positions right now are so close. Yeah, exactly. Broken the floor and she's oh, gonna lock it. She's locked she it out. Let's see what the refs say. Oh, what, yeah, a, what a great way to end the day. Yeah, a yeah, lovely way to end the day for her. Absolutely amazing third deadlift. Dowling on next, 167.5. She's been attacking her deadlifts. She's pulling. Just a little bit too heavy today, but she should be very proud of herself nonetheless. Yeah, another lifter, a great day. Yeah, she had an absolutely amazing day. I expect, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a little, little bit more. She just needs to kind of slow down a little bit, maybe. <laughs> maybe she go too fast. It's too light. We've, we've been saying all day all of our lifts are so quick. I doubt 175 will even look that hard. It's just whether she'll yeah. have balance issues again. Sure, Nat probably giving some words of advice. <laughs> well, not Kara. Looks like she has gone for a slightly wider foot position. Ooh. Let's see what the refs say. <laughs> Two, to Two to one. <laughs> so she gets it. That's a good lift. Like I said, it wasn't slow. <laughs> yeah, no, that was still. Just that tiny that bit on, on almost like the peak of her quad that she's hatching out. Yeah, I mean, that still moved like an opener. Lois Anderton up now, 177.5. I believe she does have a lot of sub junior records at the moment, correct? I, I can tell you, I'm afraid. Um, but yes, yeah, she does actually. Yeah, yeah, she's got, she's got a couple. Um, but yeah, great deadlift. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Another great day out from her. You can see we've got Yaz waiting to go on for 180. I believe this will be a five kilo PR for her. Speaking to Sophie Ellis, her handler, Osphia. to keep her in fourth, so. So the podium will be going untouched. Oh, oh wow. She's, is she gonna lock it? And <laughs> Absolutely. she does. Absolutely. What a great final deadlift from Yaz. Absolutely. 197.5, 201.5, right. and I, I believe that... 225. No, 225 is uh, simply a placeholder. Um, I think Amelia's attempt won't come in until Esther. After. Until after Esther has... Uh, what, do mean, what do you mean, four reds? <laughs> 
Blackpool Reds or Boston? <laughs> it's just it's just a technical thing some um, lifters and coaches may decide to do um, in battles for records because if Esther's to miss, then um, Amelia doesn't have to load any more than yeah, what, what Esther would have loaded. Yeah. Hannah now though for a huge PR. This would be this would be absolutely enormous both training and comp. So this is massive for her. A one eight seven move nice. If she can hold it, she might do it. Wow. 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 What a final deadlift. wow. Oh, oh, that's so unlucky. That is... That's so unlucky. I think it's just she, downward movement. From where, from where she um, locked her knees, it almost bumped the bar forward a little bit. Oh. Jury decision. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. It did go to jury, but oh, unfortunately that's, that's they have. So for those that don't know, uh, at national competitions, there is a jury that can overturn lifts if they are two to one. That's still an enormous total, 441 within a year Absolutely of insane, competing. Yeah. You know, she should be so proud of herself today. So I think, you know, it's still based on whether Esther pulls this, but I have no... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I, I, zero don't think, I don't, I don't zero think she's dads. not going to pull it. Her 192 was rapid. You can just feel the room right now. This would technically, well, it will be her second, second record of the day. Yeah, it will be. Very, very close. Very so close. Yes, so Amelia. Caught on the knee again. Yeah. Very unlucky, but a absolutely stellar performance just today. So, and as we can see, Amelia Clark on I think, Clark, yeah, Martin, she, is, sorry. she is still very safe in this. Um, very safe in terms of uh, the first position. If Amelia pulls this or not, she will still stay in second. Yeah, so she does still stay in second. So our, our podium is set. But it is whether Amelia gets the record. I'd say there was two kilos of room. This is an enormous deadlift. And it, this is to break the national record that stood for two years now. Um, yeah, so so. This, could be, this could be something absolutely fantastic. Yeah, the room is absolutely on its feet right now. This is huge for a conventional puller as well. Oh, wow. She gets it up. Can she lock it? She and locks she it. Does. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and she, so, ladies and gentlemen, she couldn't be happier. New, um, wow. What a fantastic. <laughs> under 69 deadlift record. <laughs> that is, uh, as we say, a new record. Look at the raw emotion on Amelia's face right now. So deserved. Wow. Yeah. Just that. That was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> An emotional <laughs> moment for her and her friends. Wow. Thoroughly impressed. What, that, an ama what an amazing way to that, round up the yeah, morning. That, that rounds off um, a pretty, pretty exceptional morning of lifting. Um, I think everyone today has just shown how high the standards go. Yeah, look at this for a replay. Absolute. I mean, it moved better than the 200. Yeah. Albeit two yeah. kilos in it, but. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's it's very 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 impressive stuff. So we have Esther Mullings has won the under 69 weight class with Amelia coming second. Oh, here we 
<laughs> yeah, it was in there. But Cyrus oh, just uh, trying to put us on camera. We haven't been eating what's it's all day, I promise. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, um, Caitlin Merziance, for those, those what's it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, so it has been a pleasure to commentate this morning, guys. Uh, absolutely. From me, Sunny. And Lewis, Lewis Thomason. Jesus, take your time. Um, but yeah, we are not here for this afternoon, unfortunately. Back to Nottingham Strong we go. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but um, all I will say is good luck to the rest of the lifters that are competing at Junior Nats over the next yeah, few days. Everyone crushed it today. Um, that was absolutely phenomenal. It has been a pleasure. Cheers. <laughs> bye bye.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SPD's state-of-the-art facility. These new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility. These new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility. These new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility. These new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty. Manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility, these new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.
manufactured exclusively in Great Britain at SBD's state-of-the-art facility. These new 7mm powerlifting knee sleeves have been designed for competitive powerlifters that need the maximum possible support from their sleeves. An innovative new high-grade neoprene offers enhanced second skin compression that molds to the joint all the way through the range of motion. No gapping during flexion means that the knee joint is supported consistently all the way through the lift, helping lifters maintain form and bar speed as they approach maximal attempts. Heavyweight linings, edging and seams, and abrasion-resistant outers that are designed to withstand even the most aggressive fitting make the 7mm knee sleeve the most robust sleeves in SBD's product portfolio. Engineered in Great Britain to SBD's exacting standards, each sleeve is carefully scrutinized by a team of highly trained quality control personnel and comes as standard with SBD's antimicrobial technology and a one-year warranty.